Last week, I dared to suggest that Tennessee should be playing more interesting non-conference games on occasion. Not four every year, just give me something good. Well, we got some people who disagreed, and now you can go to YouTube and disagree with our clips after the fact. But uh, I just wanted to show you, this one was representative of several of the others. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but we'll just let you get the gist of it. If we can pop this in here. Basically, first of all, I believe you are wrong. Tennessee is one of the only teams in the country that plays Georgia, Alabama, and Florida every effing year. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. We could take that down and go to the next <laughs> graphic. Uh, that was pretty much the gist that I got from a lot of people, that you've got to play Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Hey, look, Alabama and Georgia I get. Florida, sorry. That's a little like Kentucky couldn't beat you even when they were better than you. I get that Tennessee can't beat Florida. It's just an amazing, especially in, in the swamp. But that's a Tennessee thing. That's not a Florida thing. Everybody else is beating Florida. Uh, they have lost seven games in three straight seasons. As we just showed you, the odds are they're going to do it again. They've already done it four of the last seven seasons. They've lost seven games. So this would be five in eight seasons. Um, they haven't won an SEC title since 2008. Okay. There are the wins in the SEC over the last three years. Tennessee, 27. Tennessee's only behind Georgia, Alabama, and Ole Miss. You see the conference wins are in parentheses. Georgia, Alabama, Ole Miss, Tennessee, then LSU. Florida has 17 wins the last three years. If you want to look at the last five years, let's stretch it out a little past Hypo, even two years into Pruitt, they're still behind you. So this idea that well, we got to play Georgia and Alabama and EGADS, Florida. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that your history with Florida isn't good, but – Nobody should be scared of Florida in my mind. I've, I've been beating this drum for a while that they had two Hall of Fame Mount Rushmore coaches and Spurrier and Meyer. You take those guys out of their history, it's not great before or after. So to me, Florida is not a top SEC program. And like any program, they get the right coach, sure, you can turn it around. But I'm not, I don't think Florida ranks up there with the Alabamas and the Georgias to where Tennessee should be scared of them. Am I wrong on that? You could say EGADS when you go to Gainesville, but other than that, uh, I would say... A lot of other schools don't. Well, for Tennessee. For Tennessee, Because yeah. they can't beat Florida. Yeah. Florida is what you pointed yeah. out earlier. But having said that, Florida has had three consecutive losing seasons. Out of that list you just showed from the Vegas folks, uh, they're, four, they're picked to have the 14th out of 16 teams. Yeah. 14 out of 16. They're going to have a losing season again, probably. That's four in a row. Tennessee's had three consecutive winning seasons. Florida is not an elite program in the SEC anymore, and I think Tennessee has passed it. Even if you go back to 2010 and all those down years for Tennessee football, Tennessee has four nine-win seasons or better. Florida only has five. So you put all of that futility, and it's still kind of close. Now, Florida did get to double digits a couple more times. Obviously, it was just Josh Heupel last, uh, two years ago. Yeah. But it's not like they – this is just like one little yeah. stumble along the way for them. They've had some spikes, the Hall of Fame coaches. I, I, I think you have to be consistent to be in that elite category, and I don't put them there. They are absolutely not a power. They're not. But, but it is kind of like LSU prior to saving getting there, Alabama prior to saving getting there. Tennessee like, prior to high school. Yeah, I mean, anybody, if yes. you the right coach. Yes, you have mm -hmm. the ingredients to become a national power, but are you a national power now? Absolutely not. As you are what your record says you are. And so when I, when I look at Florida, they've not been good. I think they got behind when it came to facilities. I think that they got behind when it came to NIL. And then you had Billy Napier. We're not going to do business this way, very Dabo Swinney-like. And now he's two years behind the eight ball and getting players. No, they're not. They have the toughest schedule in the SEC for this year and next year, it looks like. They're not a power. They're not going to be for at least the next three seasons, and it'll be the next coach that tries to figure it out. The potential is there, like you said. So I think that's why people – because of the spikes they've had and the potential, the recruiting background, all that, they should be on that upper level. They also have that national championship expectation for their fan base. So maybe that discussion elevates them in the eyes of some. But the reality says they're not on that level. The, the problem for them is there are two other teams in that state that have the exact same expectations and the exact same possibilities. Florida State, Miami, mm -hmm. UCF people would scream, we won a national title, we gave ourselves the banner, we won undefeated. Uh, that's the way they'd scream it with that little and, voice. Yeah, no. uh, very mousy of them. <laughs> but anyway, but, yeah, but I mean the uh, <laughs> that's right. But the you know you look at Georgia, 
There's nobody else in the state that can do it. So when I look at the – look what Florida's got in the recruiting, and they got a tougher deal pulling those guys out of Florida. They're competing with two other teams that are legit national championship – that have won national titles. Um, to me, I just look at it from a Tennessee standpoint. I hear you. If you want to say we, it's only us in Auburn that have to play Georgia and Alabama every year, okay. I get that. Those are the monsters of football. But don't throw Florida in there. That'd be like, well, we can't beat Vanderbilt, so – as long as we're playing Vanderbilt, we can't schedule anybody. Don't, don't give me that. That's, that's your fault. You can't beat Vanderbilt. I mean, everybody else is beating Florida. You need to. So to me, I, I'll, I'll take the Alabama and Georgia crying. Don't cry about Florida. They're, they're not what they used to be. If LSU was regularly on their schedule, they would be one that you can make an argument to be in that game. The other interesting thing about using that in terms of we can't schedule anybody good in the non-conference, starting this year, and we're about to show you, Everybody's got pretty tough schedules for the most part in terms of everybody's got some name teams on there. This segment brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. The weather is going to go from warm to hot and humid very soon. And that means mosquitoes will be around very soon to annoy you, bite you, and try to give you some awful disease. So what do you do? Kill them. Southeast Termite and Pest Control, they know how. Call them and ask them about their new mosquito treatment. Safer for all the other critters in your yard, but tougher on skeeters. Southeast Termite and Pest Control, I use them at my house. You should, too. I've been very happy with them. Great family-owned company since 1971. SoutheastTermite.com.